which we know there's no unity in the flesh. So if there's no unity in the flesh, and if everybody is having a say about the scriptures, about how this person do this, how this person has done this, how this person is doing this. Now, if that is, listen, if that's the case of those who are calling themselves, those who are revealing the truth or revealing what God said, they are saying they are the mouthpiece of God. The mouthpiece of God can only use what has perished. This is when you see someone saying to them to you and say, Well, you know, let me just give you my understanding of this, or let me just tell you something. You might not agree. You got to understand, I'm going to say it again. Unless the seed perish, the seed must perish. The seed must perish. There's many things that Jesus talked about the seed. The seed represent people. It represent people. And When the gentleman that was um, wanting to follow Jesus heard what Jesus said to him, he couldn't see no other way. And we can go more into the story. But I just want to, I want to just emphasize this on this part for volume one. The seed must perish. The seed does not know the next life. The next agenda. The next Revealing the unfold, the, the unfolding. The seed that doesn't know the next life. We must, we must, we must understand something. You has been proven that you have a mind just like. The gentleman that was rich, that wanted to follow him, and what he could have, what he could have done, is take it upon himself to say, you know what, I'm gonna help him anyway, and go about doing and using his resources. You can use other people's resources. You can use your own resources. When you begin to use your your resources, when you begin to make decisions upon your own mind in the face of God, making your own mind 
to do what you feel that you can do to help or fulfill the kingdom. But you have not one time went over into the other side. Which means there is a denying of self. And what people don't understand is not a lip service. Nothing of God or what comes from God is a lip service. It's not a form of God, godliness denying the power thereof. There is a, it's, a power means that there is an experience that only God can supply. So it doesn't make any decision. Listen, you don't have to argue with no one. You don't have to talk about what this person, if that's, I mean, if that's the case, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But I'm telling you this, it's still God supplies. If the person is not perished to the point where they have been resurrected by God and God sees fit to use them for his pleasure. Listen to this now. Not according to their knowledge. Not according to their mind. Not according to their strength. Not according to to their resources. God used all his resources. And when God uses resources, it will not be a form. It will be an experience. So it shows you that the seed takes on a whole new life. A whole new life. It's amazing that. And if you think about what has to die. And they come back alive. But but into another. Into another form. And, and, and it's amazing because. Even if the plant had seeds, and you took the seeds of that plant, and you plant the seeds, and true enough, it grows up looking like that plant. Now, to you and I, Maybe we can see a little difference. Maybe we can't. When we're looking at the stem and the leaves. But God, but God knows there's a difference. God knows that each limb, each stem are different. Because he created Everything so unique. So unique. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop right here. This is volume one of Denying Yourself. You will find in the, this series of Denying Self, you will find and you will see that God will reveal to you it's like a missing link. It's like a puzzle. No one, listen, if everyone done what Jesus did with the disciples, and the disciples did what Jesus done to the next. And it goes on and goes on. That, that would create a unity that cannot be shaken. And I'm going to tell you this. Through that, that's what God done. The same thing he did with, did with Abraham. 
And Paul began to reveal this very thing. He says, even if there are Jews or is from Israel, listen, even those there are Jews or Israel, he said, they not all Israel are Jews. And what he was saying, because their culture or or because if they're African American, Mexican, or Chicano, or Indian, and they're and, and they're and they're Christians, well then not all are for real. That means that not all are part of the unity of Christ. But God knows. Because God is the one that plants the seed. And watch it. Because who 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 do the cultivating? The Bible said that he's the husband. So who does the cultivating? God. Unless a seed perish. It will not produce any fruits, not of God. Bless you. This is, listen, this is Valentino. We're going to talk again, and it's going to be awesome. But this is volume one, and listen, I can't wait to see you again. We'll, we'll be right back into this, okay? All right, be blessed. Amen. Oh, another thing. This is your first time. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell all so you won't miss no alert. You won't miss the series and you won't miss nothing that I do live. Also, miracles, signs and wonders, prayer. Listen, we are, listen, you, you, this might be your first time. You can see some of the videos. I have a video on there. We can show you something that happened at the park. Listen, it's just a few little things because this is a new page. New, cha uh, new channel. So go ahead, take a look at these things. Let God lead you. And, let, and, and listen, God would touch you. It's by His Spirit would touch you. So make sure you subscribe, okay? And if you want to support, if you want to support the Word and God is putting it upon your heart, definitely leave us a message and we'll definitely contact you and we'll go from there. So, you know, I don't think I, I put it in there, but I tell you this. I will have it in the description in a way that you can support. It can be, um, you can be a, listen, you can be a supporter or if you want to donate a gift into this work, into this ministry, you can. And I'll show you how you can do that, okay? By going down to the description and I make sure that the information is there. If you have anyone in your household that is sick, that is needing prayer, healing from children to an adults, elder people, and you have no one that you talk to or anything that is, you know, uh, moving in the divine miracles and signs and wonders. If you like for us to pray for your family, for your loved one, for your friend, definitely contact us as soon as you can. Let's not waste no time and let us get together so we can set this up because it's the anointing of God that destroys the yoke. It's the anointing. And listen, I got to say this. Because you have tried other places and you have just you have just accepted your pain that you're living in, you have just accepted the turmoil that you're going through mentally. Listen, Never give up. Never give up. Never, listen, never give up and just accept it. Okay? God is speaking to you. Give us, contact us, and we'll, we'll take the next step, okay? All right? Be blessed. And also, tell your friends and your family about, about this ministry. And have them to, to subscribe. Have them to check the page out, okay? All right. Amen. Talk to you later.